hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today i decided that i'm gonna do a vlog i'll probably start doing weekly vlogs like whenever i don't want to do a sit down video um i'll just do weekly vlogs and you guys can follow me around on my boring days but <laughs> um i just finished washing my hair and then I just came upstairs and I was chilling because after I wash my hair, I'd be so out of energy. It just takes so much to wash my hair. But I've gotten a better routine lately. But anyway, yeah, I was just chilling, watching Bob's Burgers. Now I'm probably just gonna go do my hair. I'm gonna do some mini twists. That's been my go-to lately. So I'll show you guys a little bit of how I do that. I'm definitely not about to do a hair tutorial for you guys because, um, it's just not my vibe but <laughs> you'll see how i do my mini twists side note i got a mosquito bite when i was at work the other day i don't know if you could see you could kind of see it and like i want to sue because that's ghetto something that i wanted to share is that my skincare routine lately has become very simplified um i wash my face with um castile soap and then i just use the cerave healing ointment on my skin and it's been oh that was way too much um it's been working really well for me i know i eventually do want to add some spf back into my skincare routine because i know like that's good especially for um us who have melanin we think we don't need spf sometimes but it's definitely necessary because you don't want to be having dark spots or like damage your skin um, from the sun so I'm gonna incorporate SPF back into my routine at some point but I think the simplified routine has actually been really helping my skin um not that I had like a very intricate routine before I used um Fenty skin and it was it worked really well but lately for some reason I just feel like it was just too much for my skin and I was breaking out a little bit um so now just using that CeraVe healing ointment my skin has been great but I am gonna try to incorporate a good SPF so if anybody has any good recommendations let me know in the comments below I finished my hair it took forever but I have it in this little ponytail so it's stay out of my face but it's still wet um but yeah when I said mini twist I meant mini anyway now I'm having a glass of wine really good and yeah I'll probably see you guys tomorrow hey guys it's a few days later um i have work today i'm so over it i'm so over this life if i could just walk around and film myself full time i would i would do that i really would but um this is life i'm also very grateful to have a job but unfortunately it's just not the job i want at the moment so you know we're working towards changing that but i have to work today so yeah see you guys in a bit what i'm actually doing right now is a bit of reading i love to read fun fact about me so this is my kindle i actually have two kindles um this is the kindle that i keep at home because it's huge it's the kindle scribe and it was a christmas gift and then i also have like a little basic kindle um, that I carry around with me in my bag and I literally take it everywhere with me and it's tiny and so I read on that a lot um but I love to read right now I'm currently rereading Twilight because it's just one of my favorites and it's getting to be that season so yeah I'm just reading a little bit before I have to start um getting ready for work and I think it was like two days ago when I um started this vlog i think it was like two days ago that's when i did the mini twist so today i'll show you kind of how i like style them um every day while i have mini twists because when i do them that tiny i do like to keep them in for a while so i do cute little styles with them um so i'll show you that all right so guys this is how i wrap my hair at night i just put the twist back and then i just tie it with a silk scarf satin scarf whatever you want to call it and this is how it looks when i take it off and i like to use the miel um rosemary mint 
scalp hair and strengthening oil and this is in the light version because i like to put it on my actual hair every day um and i know there's been like a lot of controversy surrounding these products so i have this one too i use this on my scalp i use this on my hair i've had no problems no issues with my hair falling out so that's just me i like these products um if y'all want to sponsor me go right ahead but i just put some on my hand and rub it in and i just like to coat all of my twists just so that they're moisturized for the day this is how i choose to refresh mine and it's been working for me so i mean it's like to each his own you have to really know your hair i think that's where a lot of the controversy with that product is coming from people don't know their hair and then they're putting this oil on and it's making whatever problem they have worse and not better so that's my two cents on the issue but i love my own products i use their shampoo and conditioner too so and like i said i've had no issues so i just do that on both sides Can y'all hear Renee rap playing in the background? <laughs> and honestly, I haven't really even been doing mini twists for that long. And I already see the growth in my hair. It's actually insane. And I just get a towel and like wipe my hands off because I don't want that oil stain on my hands. But um, I generally never wear my twists like this if i'm going somewhere or going out because they're just in the way and they'll get in my face at the most i'll do like i'll leave like these two down while i do a different style but um when i'm at work i just don't care and i want my hair out of my face so i'm gonna just use this scrunchie and i'm gonna just do a half up half down that's my favorite style to do actually when i have mini twists and you kind of Um, see which ones you want to pull up and which ones you want to leave down I pretty much know because I do this style a lot um but yeah also when I do my mini twist I don't part you know that tiktok sound that's like <laughs> it's just like don't part your hair don't even pick up the comb <laughs> that's literally me when I do my mini twist I do not even pick up that comb to part my hair because it looks better in my opinion when you don't so yeah I just wrap the scrunchie around a few times it's like this little ponytail that goes every which way and I love it I think it's so cute um and then if I'm feeling real real cute that day like I was saying if I'm feeling like I want to be real cute I'll do my edges but my edges don't be lasting because I sweat a lot um, but I use the, again, Myel Rosemary Mint Edge Control because it's supposed to be good for your edges because there are some edge controls that just rip out your edges. So, I don't want that to be my testimony. So, I use this one. I really like this one. And it does work well. But with anything, like, I sweat a lot. So, they don't really stay. But it's nice to look cute from the beginning part of the day. And then whatever happens, happens. I also don't do anything too crazy with my edges. I just swoop them back and then my sideburns just put them down and like swoop them, swoop them back. <gasps> Not the gnat in my room, ew. And then same on the other side. Does anybody else like have like two different set of edges? Cause the edges on this side are much different than the edges on the other side. And it's, they're a little harder. They don't lay as easily. I guess all in my head. But to me, it just seems harder to lay these down. Also, I'm already sweating. That could be it too. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And it's like this part of my hair. Like the twists don't be wanting to stay in. So sometimes I just have to like finesse them. Same over here. And there's like one twist in the back of my head that never stays like i try to do that like really tiny so that it will stay but it, it, it never really stays but yeah these are how i style my mini twists most days sometimes i do two little space buns on top and i think that's really cute too but this half up half down is really what i do most of the time 
but yeah that's how i style my hair and i'll be headed off to work very very soon so for today i'm gonna leave it here and i'll check in with you guys tomorrow hello people uh, i don't know why i just started the video and then stopped talking that was weird um no i'm just getting ready for work and there was something i wanted to say but i don't remember you know adhd <laughs> that could be something we talk about i truly think that i have adhd like my short-term memory sucks i don't know if that's just because my short-term memory sucks or it's because there's just too much going on in my mind that i can't remember what i ate for breakfast you know so Comment below if you think you also have ADHD. <laughs> oh, see my two little cute little space buns? I do love to do the little space buns when I have mini twists. I feel like when I don't, even if I don't do any other makeup, I always have to do my eyebrows and mascara. Like, I at least feel put together when I do my eyebrows and mascara. When I do nothing at all, I just feel not put together <laughs> i get not to like you know not tooting my own horn but i get a lot of compliments on my brows and it's no matter like what brow um product i use i think it's more my technique which i've been perfecting since i was like 18 years old because listen when i used to do my eyebrows they used to quite literally look like i put a sharpie on my face um if i find a picture I'll insert it like right here but it used to be bad I used to love them and it was like it was an era you know there was an era where everybody's brows looked like they sharpened them on there was also that era where everybody did their eyebrows where they didn't start until like right here and they let it fade in like that I was never a fan of that um I'd be like fill it in like the fade doesn't look natural either but how I do my eyebrows now is definitely my favorite era and I don't think I will ever stray from it I've always had like really thick brows and there was a time also when I would get them waxed and stuff and the girls like they never listened when we'd be like don't make it too thin like just give them a nice shape but they never listen i think that low-key the people that do people's eyebrows be jealous when people have bushy eyebrows so like, let me just let me just snatch them real quick but anywho so yeah i had a i had a period where i had like really thin eyebrows as well and now i haven't got my eyebrows done probably a year or two because i just like the look of thick bushy brows and I think there's nothing wrong with it and I think the way that I fill them in gives them a bit of a better shape than they naturally have but even naturally if I just put on brow gel like I don't mind my eyebrows I really actually like them but yeah um I don't know I just came on here to say I hope everyone has a beautiful day I hope I also have a beautiful day I'm manifesting that even though I do have to work manifesting a good day and they always want me to work this closing shift i feel very taken advantage of but it's okay we will all have jubilation one day oh my god this is random but like if you're a pretty little liars fan like i am does anybody remember that scene where hannah's like we will all have jubilation one day they're like hannah where where did you just come from with that because like what are you talking about like unpopular opinion hannah was low-key the smartest one like hannah i mean spencer was book smart but hannah was like smart smart she was like book smart street smart very smart but all her plans kind of like didn't go well but i mean that happens it's okay hannah was my favorite hannah and emily were definitely my favorite i liked spencer a lot but she was very intense um aria mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
I'm not an Arya stan at all. She had her moments, which was really funny. But I just didn't like her character, and I feel like she had the least growth as a character. So that's just my opinion. I know there are some Arya stands out there. I really wish they would have did a little something a little different with the end. Sorry, spoiler coming up. Um, I wish they would have did something different with the end and made like Arya A somehow. Because I definitely was on that bandwagon of Arya as A. Because she just gave like untrustworthy. <laughs> the way the show ended was how they decided to end it so we won't talk about it another good show that is like new and i think it's only gonna have the one season fight night has anybody been watching that it's so good this is arguably kevin hart's best role i love him in this like it's so good and that the cast of that show is stacked like Kevin Hart, Taraji, Samuel Jackson, Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard, I'm, he might be my favorite character in that show. If you watched it, you know. His name is Cadillac. I live. But yeah, that show is so good. Whoever um, directs that show or whoever wrote that show, wrote, wrote, I said whoever wrote that show, whoever wrote that show <laughs> did an amazing job. Like, really good job. This blush is actually one that I didn't get a chance to try before, and it's the She Glam Howdy Jellylicious Hydrating. Oh, it's a lip and blush tint. Yeah, I didn't get, I didn't try this one before. When I did my last video, I had a bunch of like she and stuff. Ooh, ooh, it's very pretty. I feel like it's very like light not super duper pigmented i don't know if i'm supposed to use more i do like it though when they say tint do they mean stain because i feel like <laughs> it's gonna stain i don't know i do like that it's very light that's good it's good for every day i love blush i live for blush yeah that's super pretty i love it okay did anybody just hear that that is a weird sound listen that sounds weird i don't know if i like that look i'm wiping off my finger and it's still kind of red oh well the thing about working a job you hate <laughs> i don't hate it but a job you really it's just a job like i know like this is not where i'm supposed to be in life well this is where i'm supposed to be in life right now because this is where i am and i do believe in divine timing and god's timing more importantly however my point the thing about working a job that is not your passion is that this me doing this right now right here is gonna be my favorite part of the day i already know like i really and i really want to have a job eventually where my favorite part or my favorite part of the day is me working my job or where like i'm at home and i'm actually like missing my job i think that's good work-life balance when you're when you're home you're missing your job and when you're at your job you're missing home but not because you don't like your job it's just because you love your home and your job you love your freedom but you also love your work let me know if you think i ramble a lot because i personally feel like i do but i don't know some of my friends have told me they like when i just talk and yap and do random things in my videos so if you guys enjoy, I'm glad. Highliner? Yes. Every time I say, like, I just said this in my head, I was like, I'm not gonna go too crazy with the highlighter. But the highlighter just goes crazy on its own, you know? I don't do it on purpose. It just happens. I think I think the highlighter loves me as much as I love it. Has anybody seen those people on TikTok that, like, 
feel like the inanimate objects like have feelings because i feel that sometimes you know it's like how does the highlighter feel <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't want i didn't mean for this to turn into a whole like little tutorial i just wanted to do a little chit chat if you watch my last video you know i have to concentrate so i don't poke myself in the eye when i do my mascara sorry <laughs> oh my god so i started watching vampire diaries again because for one i actually never finished that show like i've never got to the end of that show um and second it just feels like it's the season for it so i'm like oh let me watch vampire diaries again you know right, but this is my makeup for today i'm not gonna do any any lip liner or lip gloss or anything like that i'm just gonna stick with aquaphor for today and i'm also gonna just leave it here for today um thank you guys so much for watching i am gonna start um weekly vlogging so this was the start of that i hope you guys really enjoyed this video um and following me around on my boring days but i don't know maybe to you they won't be boring so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye love you